Hey, 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 I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my fitness journey so far. I'm actually sitting out here in front of my parents' house. You know, anxiety is kind of kicking in a little bit because of the fact that, you know, we have uh, neighbors around, you know, taking care of their business and whatnot around their house. And uh, cars driving by, you know, so that's a lot of things that distract me and make my mind go other places and, and be worried about what the heck is going on around me. but. I'm gonna go ahead and make this video anyway. <laughs> you know, people are looking at me like, what in the world is this guy doing with a tripod sitting on his car, talking to his phone or whatnot, but, but yeah. <clears throat> Going ahead and making this video anyway. And as you can see, <laughs> I've definitely uh, put some weight on, man. Definitely put some weight on. I don't fit this shirt like I used to be able to fit. It's not hugging the arms like it used to, and it's not, uh, you know, the, the part that's hugging now is the stomach part, you know. <laughs> so I put on about an extra 10 pounds. I'm about 275 now. Uh, things haven't been going so great. I'm actually sitting here in front of my parents' house, if you're wondering where I'm at. And uh, yeah, I spent the night at my parents' house last night because uh, I was gonna uh, come here to pick something up and drop it off at a friend's house, but uh, the friend was, uh, friend was asleep already, so I decided to just go ahead and stay here. Stay, you know, since I was already out here, I didn't feel like driving back home. I was like, okay, I don't have nothing to do tomorrow. Let me just stay at my parents' house for the night, you know. Going off on a tangent a little bit, uh, I definitely can say that <laughs> I am happy to not be living with my, with my parents anymore. <laughs> and nothing against my parents. You know, I love my parents and I'm grateful for the way that they raised me. But at the same time, I enjoy uh, not necessarily be doing anything I shouldn't be doing, you know, but I enjoy having my own freedom and my own space to live my own life and not have to worry about somebody asking me to take out the trash or, you know, <laughs> do something that I wouldn't be doing otherwise, you know what I'm saying? And so, with that being said, getting back into the purpose of this video. So I have gained weight, you know, so this is an update. It's like I said before, hopefully I said that before, that this is an update on my weight loss journey so far. I've gained about 10 pounds, uh, just like I stated earlier. And that's due to the fact that, you know, just like I said in the last video on my weight loss journey, I said that, <laughs> I said that I was gonna get on it and I was gonna, you know, this, me making that video was new, my new, my newfound motivation and whatnot, but it wasn't quite my newfound motivation. I was unsuccessful. <laughs> and uh, if I can blame it on anything, or if I can use an excuse, I would say that it would be because of the fact that my schedule, partly because of my schedule is all over the place. Um, you know, some things, personal things going on in my life that I uh, haven't been feeling so great about. And so with my schedule being all over the place, not necessarily being set, and those things happening, and it's kind of caused me to have a lot, lack of motivation to do certain things. So, you know, for me, I feel like everything has to be in place in order for me to move in certain things. And so uh, I know I need to get out of that. You know, that's a part of uh, self-improvement, a part of my self-improvement um, that I'm working on right now is getting out of the fact that Everything has to be in place, like I'm a drummer, like I spoke about in a, in a previous video, and uh, if that hi-hat is missing, or if that, uh, you know, I, I grew up playing the drums, so I went and I played at different places, and some of those places didn't ha quite have a full drum set, so if that tom was missing, or that hi-hat was missing, or they didn't have the kick drum pedal, or something like that, I would just be, uh, I wouldn't want to give it my all, you know, because of the fact that I felt like it's useless. I can't produce what I want to produce. You know what I'm saying? What I envision in my head to produce, I can't. I know that I can't produce it with these things missing. And so, relating that to fitness or my weight loss journey, you know, when I know that these particular elements or these things that are keys to me uh, progressing, when I know that those things are missing, then 
uh, I don't want to move until I get those things back in place, you know. And so it caused me to <laughs> not move forward, um, like I said that I was going to keep doing, you know. So it is, you know, in life there are struggles. We have struggles. We have things that get in our way that push us backwards. But we have to keep moving forward, you know. We have to find out the solution and keep pushing forward, you know. And so I have found out a solution in one one area. So um, I'm going to start pushing in a minute. And so basically, you know. Those things that weren't in place was my schedule. My motivation wasn't there. Because my motivation wasn't there, I, I didn't go to the gym. Because I didn't go to the gym, why should I even be eating right? For the past two weeks, my schedule's been so out of whack that I hadn't been able to prepare anything. You know, that's one area where I'm weak is prepare, preparation as far as preparing food or preparing the juices or whatever, the, whatever I'm doing to continue on the path of this weight loss journey or whatnot, you know? And so, um, with that being said, with me trying my best not to make this video too long, I'm going to get straight to the point. All them healthy vitamins and minerals and nutrients and uh... See man, there's so much stuff going around, I'm just looking all around like oh, all this stuff, man, that's... I hate that, man. I gotta just not care about that. But, uh, but yeah, so, I found a solution. So one of the solutions is meal prep. Not only meal prep, but there are companies who prep the meals for you. <laughs> and I'm just now finding out that there's a company that's not only nearby where I live in the Bay Area, they have many locations in the Bay Area. Bay Area. Not only do they have many locations in the Bay Area, but this particular company has a facility that's right around the corner from where I live. So now there's no excuses, man. Yeah, I really can knock that the excuses out of the way, you know what I'm saying? My plan, like I spoke about in my last video, I have a, a plan to meet my goals, my fitness goals or whatnot. The plan is a four phase plan. So I, I go through phase number one, once I'm finished with that, number two, number three, number four, and so on. You know, uh, I've only made it to phase number two of the plan and I've gotten great results. You know, with me not doing so great, you know, with me gaining all, pretty much all the way back than I have lost within the past six months or so. Or, yeah, past six or seven months, I lost about 40 pounds. With me, I pretty much gained all of it back and plus about four more pounds. I want to go back to phase one, but at the same time, I don't want to go back to phase one. And I'll explain another, in another video, like I said before, I'm, this is not going to be the video where I explain what my <laughs> plan is or what my plan has been. What I'm gonna do at this point is add meal preparation into phase two. I had a regular protein-based, high protein-based diet to help me to build muscle, you know? So without going into too much, phase two was the build muscle phase of the plan. And uh, I've done very well, you know? Like, uh, you know, even though I'm still, even though there's still a lot of fat covering it up, you can still see some of the muscle that I've built up, you know? When I was 275 pounds before, you couldn't see that. You couldn't see uh, any definition of my arms or anything like that, you know. I know that I still have the muscle. I can still bench press 225. Before I was around this weight, I could only bench press maybe like 170, 160, 170, you know, max. Like one time. <laughs> then now I'm, I'm benching uh, 225 for at least five to 10 reps, you know. Man, then my battery is about to die, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up. My buddy at work, uh, he told me about meal prep. Or I, I told him that I was gonna start meal prepping and I need to start cooking and everything like that. Then he told me about the fact that he doesn't have time to meal prep. You know, he's, a, he's into fitness and everything like that. He's had his own weight loss journey. It's not quite the same as mine. Uh, you know, he, he didn't grow up overweight or anything like that. He just, you know, in his adulthood, he, he gained weight. And then at some point he decided, hey, I'm, I'm a little too fat right now. Let's go ahead and lose this weight, man. You know, he went through his own weight loss journey, lost the weight, and he's been able to maintain keeping it off. He, you know, he got super shredded at one point, but he lost the shreds after a while. And, but at the same time, he's still keep, able to keep himself, keep his weight down and not look or appear obese or overweight or whatnot so it's uh, one of my good buddies at work he told me about th this meal prep company and i come to find out that you know it's right around the corner from me so now i have no excuses that's the point where i'm at right now in my fitness journey that the eating portion or the eating 
um, yeah, the eating portion of uh, having everything in place. Now I have no excuses for that. So I'm going to start that. I think it starts off at, uh, they give you enough meals to last for two weeks at a time. So between one and two weeks at a time. So seven days to 14 days. And I think, you know, it ranges between 150 to $200 for uh, three meals a day for seven days a week for two weeks. So, you know, 400 to 450 a month on food. Um, it's not too bad, actually. That's actually not too bad, you know. I sp I've been spending way more than that on food um, with me just eating out, you know, eating whatever I wanted to eat. So if I can just stick to that plan and eat strictly that and, of course, have my fruits and vegetables as snacks in between there, um, so, you know, so it'll be six, day six meals a day. If I can stick to that, then uh, I think I will be doing not too bad. And I'm not sure how much longer I have before this video dies out. So I'm going to go ahead and... This is an old car, so I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut this video out. Cut the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Uh, stop eating all them hamburgers. And the uh, guy just looked at me. <laughs> Stop looking all them hamburgers. Stop eating all them hamburgers. And I need you guys to remind me to stop eating all them hamburgers. As well as, uh, you know, remember that, you know, we only have one time. And there's only one time for us to get this thing in life right, man. So let's, let's, let's go after it all. Let's attain every goal that we can possibly attain. Let's achieve every goal that we could possibly achieve, man. And uh, let's go after greatness. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.